In my opinion, citizen development came about as effectively a stopgap because of the fact that actually IT was so backlogged up, they couldn't get any work done. Citizen developers, um, uh, why do we need them if, if everything's going to be done by a couple of really clever developers and lots of uh, no-code, no-code platform? Uh, we don't. Um, Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come yeah. on, we've got a lot of developers out there, right? We, we, we need all this talent, don't we? I mean, we, we, we haven't got enough talent in technology and people who know how to develop code, have we? No, we haven't. And, and that's part of the, the, I suppose, the challenge is that, um, in my opinion, citizen development came about as effectively a stopgap because of the fact that actually IT was so backlogged up, they couldn't get any work done. Um, the business needed to move forward. So therefore, let's train the business to actually become programmers. The problem is that there's obviously a huge amount, obviously, in terms of actually building an application. Um, and the problem is that actually you build the app, you're all enthusiastic about it as a citizen developer, and then suddenly you end up, what do you mean I've got to maintain it and support it? I've got data off, I've got other stuff to do. And then suddenly what you've got is now chaos. So the problem is that a lot of organizations that have started to embrace the citizen developer model actually have then backed out of it because then suddenly they've suddenly realized they've turned the whole business into operating as part of IT. So obviously the benefit of the technologies that we've now got where actually we're able to then deliver faster, quicker using professional developers means that actually the developers can actually then focus on delivering the value quicker and faster. The business can focus on actually on the business function and it works in a much more effective way together. Now these kind of legacy teams, sorry, these um, uh, Gartner fusion teams as they call them, mean that actually then the business and IT work closer together, which actually then means that rather than being months um, or even years to build an application, you're now actually then working at a much higher cadence rate with actually DevOps integrated into platforms, allowing you to do more faster and at a pace that actually you've not been able to previously. So it allows the developers to actually really shine